Does this team have your juices flowing more when you talk about that grit and the I think so. And all yeah, that? absolutely. I mean, it's been a, been a, you know, I mean, it's been a great year of excitement. I mean, you know, when you got kids that are wrestling hard and, and fighting uh, for their team, uh, it is. It's it's yeah, yeah. It's great, you know. And I've had these years, you know. I've had. I think I've had a lot more of them than, than I haven't, but, um, you know, when you kind of uh, sidetrack for two years, uh, yeah, it's a hell of a lot better. Yeah, I miss it, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride up to this point and um, continue to just stay focused and keep these guys excited about what they're doing. These guys work hard. We've had probably a group of wrestlers that trained harder than any I've had. And so success comes from that. Ever? Train ever, harder than ever? Ever. That's pretty high standard. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not talking about one individual, but as a team, yeah, I think they've, they've come together, no complaining. 7 a.m. workouts all season long, 3 o'clock workouts, um, you know, uh, and just just not a lot of complaining, a lot of a lot of energy in, in the room, and, and and I think the energy comes from some of our older guys, uh, Dayton Fix, um, Isaac, Plot, um, and a, a few of the guys that we all recognize as some of the hardest trainers in the room that that are not making the team, and they got it. They got a, a level of commitment every day. It's pretty impressive. That's, that's who you want your daughter to marry. That guy that never gets to wrestle, but he comes to work every day and is trying to help someone else get better.